the divers. Devotees of the particular village and from surrounding ones get together to offer kola or nema to the Bhutas once in a year. Vedic religion has become an integral part of the lives of Tulu people. Sri Adi Shankaracharya, who got the Mukambika idol reconsecrated in Kuluru 1200 years back, spread the messages of Advaita Siddhanta in Tulu Nadu also. Sri Madhvacharya, who founded the Dvaita philosophy in the 13th century, was a Tuluva. The Sri Krishna temple and the eight monasteries established by him in Udupi stand as living symbols of the faith of Tuluvas in the Divine. The culmination of the seeding process for Sugi, Enilu and Kolake cultivation is known as Kandakori. At the end of the seeding activity, the fields are watered profusely. The Kandadapuni or dividing ridges of the paddy fields are decorated with clay. A special flag post called Pukkare, decorated with flowers, is stuck in the middle of the paddy field. Nagatambila is conducted at the Nagabana nearby. Deepavali is celebrated on the Shukla Padyami of Kartika Masa, which falls between the month of October and November. Tuluvas believe that King Bali visits their land on that day to see his subjects. In order to commemorate his visit, they plant the branch of Hale tree on the courtyard near the Tulusi Katte and decorate it with a variety of flowers like Gondepu, Kepula and Padepu. Members of the family worship the king by sprinkling Akshate on him and chanting Baliendra Baliendra Hariyo Hari. The cows are bathed, decorated with turmeric, kumkum and fed with dosi and bananas. On the same night, the departed souls are propitiated through a rite called Bajilu Padune, in which beaten rice and coconut are offered to them. Kaveri is a holy river to the Tuluvas also. On the Tirthot Pavade at Talakaveri, Kaveri Sankranti is observed in Tulu Nadu. Apart from these, Tuluvas observe festivals like Illu Jinjavane, which literally means filling the house. It is a ceremony to adorn the house with twigs of auspicious trees and stalks of paddy just before the new harvest season or Sugi. Pudvar, which means the new paddy, is the feast celebrated to mark the beginning of the harvest season in which rice from the newly harvested paddy is used to cook the food. In the month of Puni, April, people of Tulunadu celebrate Kedasa as a ritual for the purification of Bhudevi or Mother Earth after her menses and for obtaining her full grace on the farming community. On the day of the Solar New Year, a variety of vegetables and fruits like cashew, jackfruit, mango, banana, pumpkin and coconut are arranged on a platform in the chavari or outer hall. A mirror along with turmeric powder and kumkum is kept in the centre. A wick lamp called Kalatipa burns nearby. This is the Bisukani of Tulunadu. After getting up in the morning, People take oil bath, wear new clothes and have a view of Bisukani. The younger ones pay respect to the elders. Then they visit the temple. The tradition of the tenants presenting artifacts made by them to the landlords on this occasion is now disappearing from Tulunadu. Folk dances have been performed in Tulunadu since a very long time to ward off the ill effects of the particular seasons and the afflictions of evil spirits. Arti Kalenja dance is performed by the Nalki community in the Tulu month of Arti or June July, wearing mysterious costumes and makeup. The intent is to stamp down evil forces and entertain the people who are depressed by the dark rainy season. 
Kalenja is a combination of two words, Kale and Anjevu. Kale means to remove, Anjevu is a man or a person. In the region where Tulu and Malayalam cultures intermingle, dances of Beda and Marda are also performed to ward off the evil effects of the rainy season. In the past, the people who are living in the past, 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 ಜನಪದ ಕುಣಿತಗಳನ್ನು ಬಳಸಿಕೊಂಡರು ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಆ ಟಿ ತಿಂಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆಯುವಂಥ ಕುಳಿತ ಕಳೆಂಜ ಅಂತ ಕಳೆ ಅಂಜವು ಎಂಬ ಎರಡು ಶಬ್ದಗಳು ಕೂಡಿ ಅದು ಕಳೆಂಜ ಅಂತ ಆಗಿದೆ ಕಳೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಹೋಗಲಾಡಿಸುವಂಥ ಅಂಜವು ಅಂದರೆ ಗಂಡಸು ಅಂತ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಕಳೆಯುವಂಥ ಹೋಗಲಾಡಿಸುವಂತಹ ಒಬ್ಬ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಬರ್ತಾನೆ ಅಂತ ಜನರು ಈ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ವಿಕೋಪದಿಂದ ಭಯಭೀತರಾಗಿರ್ತಾರೆ ದುಡಿತ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಹೊಟ್ಟೆಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಹಸಿವಿನಿಂದ ಕಂಗಾಲಾಗಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದೇ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಡು ಹೆಚ್ಚ ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿ ಮಳೆಯ ಕಾರಣದಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಕ್ರಿಮಿಕೀಟಗಳು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿ ರೋಗ ರುಜಿನಗಳು ಕಾಣಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತವೆ ಒಟ್ಟು ಜನರಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಭಯದ ಭಾವನೆ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಆ ಭಯದ ಭಾವನೆಯನ್ನು ಪ್ರತಿಭಯ ಹುಟ್ಟಿಸಿ ಹೋಗಲಾಡಿಸುವಂತಹ ಕುಣಿತವೇ ಆಟಿ ಕಳೆಂಜ ಕುಣಿತ ಇನ್ನು ಇದೇ ಆಶಯವನ್ನಿಟ್ಟುಕೊಂಡು ಕಾರ್ಕಳ ತಾಲೂಕಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಂಕಾಳಿ ಕುಣಿತವನ್ನು ದೀಪಾವಳಿ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಮುಲ್ಕಿಯ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಂಗಿಲು ಕುಣಿತ ನಡೀತದೆ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಪುತ್ತೂರು ಸುಳ್ಯದ ಪ್ರದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಕರಂಗೋಲು ಅಂತ ಸುಗ್ಗಿ ತಿಂಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕುಣಿತ ನಡೀತದೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಅಟಿ ಕಳೆಂಜ ಸೋಣದ ಜೋಗಿ ಮಾಂಕಾಳಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕಂಗಿಲು ಕರಂಗೋಲು ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ದುಷ್ಟ ಶಕ್ತಿಗಳ ನಿವಾರಣೆಗಾಗಿ ಎಥನಿಕ್ ಆರ್ ರೂರಲ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಮೈಂಡ್ an integral part of the lives of Tuluvas since time immemorial. Starting from the bites of the cobras and other venomous snakes to the dreaded infections like the herpes, many incurable maladies have been cured by these native doctors through herbs and Tulu mantras. Bala, if you want to get the mantra, you can get the mantra, you can get the mantra, you can get the mantra. The secular heritage of India has also been shared by Tulu Nadu since so many centuries. The diversity of religious faiths and the vibrant quality of the multifaceted cultures found here go hand in hand in reflecting the inner vitality of the people. The masjids and dargahs frequented by the followers of Islam, the churches and cathedrals that symbolize the tradition of Christian faith the temples and bhutasthanas that are part of the hindu way of life the basadis the bidus and the bahubali idols belonging to the jain tradition all of them coexist lending their voices to the melody of religious harmony in tulunadu